ironic. All right, let's just leave. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes Mrs. Mad. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Samuel might be Hi, our culprit. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. What? She was talking about? And me? I swear, it's not about that petition you didn't sign. I'm sorry. Uh, Kate, Nathan, recent events. How about recent events first? I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. She probably can. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. What's all this talk about Nobel Prizes? I haven't prizes? been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. Snowing whales? Beyond science, scientific explanation. Uh, let's go with the uh, beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Dying animals are prophecy. Yeah, prophecy. So, you don't think this could be some kind of prophecy or something? Max, you know how fascinated I am by Arcadia Bay legends. But I haven't found any apocalyptic signs yet. Unless you count those end of the world posters. Unless you know something I don't. Oh, I do. I know all the things. Time travel. Uh-oh. Tabanga? What? What's Tabanga? Tabanga. I wonder if the Tabanga knows more than anybody here. Oh, Max, nobody even knows who brought the Tabanga here. Oh, that thing? The totem? It was likely oh. stolen from the South Pacific by local fishermen. But I know what you're saying. There's a lot of energy here. A lot of energy. I, I wish I could go back and talk about time travel now. Can I do that while in a... No, I can't. Uh, Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell needs help, no thanks. Shoot. No thanks, Blackwell needs help. Uh. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I'm down now, with that. I don't mean to get riled up. But that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. The Prescotts are pils the Prescotts. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. Mm -hmm. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just... Wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I, okay. Nathan. I was looking for Nathan Prescott, and I thought he might be in your class. I'm surprised, Max. I didn't think you and Nathan were exactly friends. We're not. I hate him. No way. No way. I just have to uh, ask him a question. I saw him leaving campus looking angry at Okay, so usual. now uh, three to people honest, have told Matt, us. Well, hasn't been too well two people have told us. You might know more about that than me. Look at the drone. Look at the drone. I can tell. Look, dialogue you look option. Like you have more than a question on your mind. Maybe asking Nathan isn't such a good idea right now. You hear me, Max? I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. I I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. As Michelle, is there a different option? Soon, oh, she does not. I'll Can I go backwards and? Uh... Oh gosh, I don't really. Ah, skip it. Yeah, I think we're good. Let's just. How are you doing, thing. Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yep, been a very hey, tough said, week, there, guy. Samuel. 
How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. Oh man, he looks so you suspicious. Look like you have a lot of questions. <laughs> I think too. it's the glasses. Animals, Arcadia Bay people. Let's start with uh, people. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Samuel refers to himself in the third person. Let's uh, ask about David. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. Okay. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. What the heck does that mean? Uh, why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. Hmm. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. A creepy angle? I really don't know about this guy. Uh, Kate. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Kate bullied. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate Samuel bullies, Max. warned them about I Kate. You. What? Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like a friend Max. I hope she finds them now. Okay. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. <laughs> that was Whoa. short and sweet. You really don't like Nathan. How come? Samuel likes everybody until they give him a reason not to. Well, what did he do? He did. Well, okay. Enough said. Oh, we're not gonna bribe. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Max, I I'm a custodian, not a psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. Okay, how about Arcadia Bay? I still have a million questions about what's happening You do have Bay. a million questions, I gotta that be honest with you. Why, Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite Gant. students at Blackwell. They say Gant. Uh, Eclipse, Rachel, Vortex Club. Oh my god. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. What this guy say about Rachel? I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Where is she? That's the real secret. Where is she? If anybody knows, it will be you. My dreams tell me that. But... God, this guy is so Max, creepy. All I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. Eclipse. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know? Beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends, especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I don't like you at all. You're creeping I me out. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Meanwhile, look at Miss Grant's face. She's just, she's really concentrating on the kids playing football. Oh, look at him throwing that football. Oh, I loves me some football, boys. Sorry. Dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Hmm. A Tabanga. A Tabanga. A Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate. Then it doesn't matter. This conversation is getting real deep. Uh, squirrels. 
Oh, I'm squirrels. glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh. Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. So the game crashed uh, shortly after this cutscene, so I had to do everything all over again. I have tried to speak to... Sad. Makes me mad. That's it? Is that it? Oh, there's food there. Lure. I can I lure some squirrels. Yeah, I had to do everything in the same order and pick the same, you know, um, options and stuff. I'm very worried. Is he, is he gonna eat it? He is eating it! Look at you! You're adorable. Okay, let's go in here again. Can we go in here again? We can't go in here again. So what do we do? We know that the dude is not even here. Oh, wait, can I speak to Samuel again? Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. Oh, yeah, the people. I didn't ask about More the people. questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Uh, Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? I try not to. Yeah, we, we did this um, before it crashed. Crap. Uh, you don't like Nathan. What do, you, what do you know? Let's go with what do you know. So, what do you know about Nathan? I know enough to not want to know anymore. Mm -hmm. Well, okay. Enough said. You know a lot of Blackwell secrets, so I, I thought you could help me. Okay, we did this. Max, we can't skip it, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm a custodian. A it didn't save anything. psychic. I can only help by warning you to be careful. I'll be careful. Uh, I don't think we can. We need to go through the other things. Uh, Do but we you might ever have talk to. with Crap. David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how it That's works. That's how David operates. Yep. He sees things. Not people. Not but people. I think he sees you, and then I'm going to ask but him I, why. I think he sees you, Max. Uh, why? Why do you say that? Because you both... See with, See with cameras. cameras. Yeah. I think you have better vision than both. Those two of little us. squirrels look at just hanging out. Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. At least Mrs. Grant isn't creepy this time. Okay, and Kate. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Uh Kate Bully Destiny. Kate Bully is what we picked Samuel, before. You're the eyes. I guess of I could have picked something different. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I, I hate, hate bullies, Max. Bullies, okay, Max. come on. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits. Helpful spirits like her like friend, like friend Max. Can't skip this. I hope she finds them now. This game has been running so spotty for me, and we asked him about the animals last time. We're not going to bother I'm with sorry. the animals this time. I better get going now. Actually, no. In fact, I asked them about everything you. except the whales. No Hold on a second. Animals and now I whales. Definitely. Uh oh. Beached whales. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? I don't think we did this one. My on dad camera. was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they, they just cry. That's kind of sad. Echo disaster. They're not alone. They're not alone. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. Hmm. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Okay, interesting. Alright, so, now what? Should I go in here? Enter the boys' dormitories. Yeah, because Nathan's not here. We're going to go sneak into his room. We'll find out. Aw, oh, yeah. Props, homie. Coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, <laughs> oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja mode. Okay, into the building. What the heck? Oh, it's a window of some sort. So lame, they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. 
Now I just have to find Nathan's room. That shouldn't be too difficult. Look for his name. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan. Okay, I'm getting. I'm getting. Super Max, in case you still need it, Nathan's room number is 111. Oh, okay, you are so awesome. Thank you. I love that you bring the rebel in me. You are always a rebel. You are already a rebel. Trust me. I'll always be careful. I promise. Okay, of course. I'll be, keep you posted. I know you will. Happy face. Hello, thing. Oh, okay, 111. That's 105. So room 111 106. is the magic number. <laughs> 111, Nathan's room. The press. Well, that's pretty obvious. The press this can room only be town. Nathan's room. Of course it is. Uh oh. Um, what? Wow. That's quite aggressive. Is that a projector? It sure is. That's kind of weird. Now I need to find. Yes, I would be cool with having this high tech projector. Oh gosh. There's no time. For text messages, Max, now that Dave is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much, but that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into black hole at night. I know what happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her unless you both want to play bad, but she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce, even I get into shenanigans, but I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max, I forgot. I forget you're still teenage. Whatever. Um... Right, so let's look at all this stuff. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. That's a show. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. Now, I don't we don't know that. Whale songs? Hmm. Maybe this is the only soothing thing Nathan ever hears. That's quite a coincidence. That is so Chloe. Hey, butthole, we need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did and you're going to pay mother effer. Oh wait, there's more. No, 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 there's more. There's more. That is, oh my God. Chloe. Huh? <gasps> Chloe. Well, that's kind of messed up. Nathan clearly has his fetish down. Nathan's kind of a weirdo. Hey, there's a book there. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Huh. Anger management. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. It's so damn creepy, but the guy has his own style. Dead birds. Gotta love creepy dead birds. Oh my god, there's so much to look at. Okay, we saw the poster, this diploma. What's this diploma? That's so cute and ironic. The best I can't son in the Nathan world. Nathan still has it around. That's adorable. Ah. Ah. Oh. Lens. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. There's got to be some that pictures on camera. That camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Bastard. Can I look through it for pictures? No. It seems like something you should be able to do. Uh, anything in the drawers? What is this stuff? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. DVDs. These films all have a dark pattern. All right, this is so obviously not Nathan who did the bad stuff. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from. We can use this computer. Let's look at the photo. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. <laughs> uh, what's this? I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Maybe it's just like Tylenol extra strength. I can rewind if he shows up, but Nathan is way into this party. So Victoria, hey gorgeous, uh, let That's me know what you're wearing at the Vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling as and expensive. I'm psyched about going and picking up some serious potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. 
Kate's and where Kate wild. will get justice. Oh man, Sean Prescott From Sean and to Nathan. real problem. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week for your mother and I. What? And your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour. But for now, oh gosh. Oh, oh man, wow. Suddenly, all this talk about prescriptions and doctors made me sleepy. Now let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being at Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step as did my father. It was hard for me to... Well, my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. This crap town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Eesh. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds uh, awesome. To Nathan from Christine. And to the blame from away. Brazil, little brother. It's been a long time. Or so it's been too long. So I'm making up words. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Even though I, can, I can't always check my mail or phone, please, please, please send me some new photos of campus so I can live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father has been on your butt. But you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. I, uh, you know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I wanted, so I just wanted to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back or I'll have a jaguar ship to your dorm. Chris. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Extreme diet suppressant available online without prescription. Okay, so did we get any information from that at all? I don't think we did. And we look, what? Whoa! What the hell are all those marks on the floor? Huh. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh, yes, little phone. You are mine now. We got it. We did it. Uh, now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. So should I leave now? I should probably leave now. This projector screen. Why is this on? Can I turn it off just because? Okay, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. <laughs> 